This was a 45 minute drive, man. She's literally about to fucking die right here dude, like any second now. See what he's doing. Eric, what the fuck? Here you guys are staying sanitized out here. I carry one of these uh, Clorox disinfecting wipes in my back of my trunk here because every time I get gas, I'm pumped right here with the Lysol wipe and I like to clean all of this right here that you're gonna usually touch. Yo, do you guys see how much gas is over here right now? It's not even funny, it's 3.30 right now. Hey, if you guys are from El Mirage, if some of you guys watch my videos, let me know. There's nothing to do out here, it looks like there's a bunch of like dirt. It reminds me of like Santan almost. We're about to pull up to the guy's house right now. Drop off the lip. I'll show you guys the lip once we get there as well. Yo guys, I just dropped off the lip right there. The homeboy right here is gonna take care of me. Shout out to the homie here. Hello, may I take your order? Hey, is your ice cream machine working? We do, yeah. Okay, so it's actually working? For it, once? Okay. It have ice cream cone. You feel me? Look at my fresh ass haircut though. Oh my god, dude, I almost fucking crashed. You had two orders, huh? Yeah. What the fuck are you guys doing on my channel? And the new design shit to them? <laughs> alright, alright. WARNING! WARNING! Another sighting for the full five. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, yesterday was kind of weird. Um, it transitioned to like a whole different day because I had to go drop off the lip as you guys saw to get it painted. And then um, we finally got it back here. Uh, it came out really fucking good. It's the same color put as my phone bumper so it's color matched. Um, Eric said he's iffy about it. I'm going to slap it on the car right now. So you guys can see the lip is on the front bumper now. It is color matched to the same hue here. So it looks literally OEM. I might be blacking out that chrome right there on the fog lights. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably vinyl wrap that. And then I also went ahead, me and Eric went ahead and uh, vinyl wrapped the mirrors right here. Gloss black, so that looks pretty good there. We're gonna go ahead and slap the bumper on the car now. The grill as good as we could. Yeah, we hit the grill again with some more clear coat, so it looks really glossy. We're gonna be installing the lowering springs as well. We're gonna go ahead and lower the car. Take a nasty swig. Lowering springs right here that I picked up are performance. If you guys want to pick these up, I'm looking down in the description. These are the same springs I had on the uh, 370Z. Are performance, really good quality. Most of you guys said you guys wanted to see an install here, so we would show you guys an install video, but we're, we, we'll, we'll try. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy to install these springs here. So I'm gonna do my best to try to record as much as I can. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Like I said, we're not professionals, we're not mechanics, so we're not certified or anything. Alright guys, so this is a quick before right now, how the car sits. It's not too bad here for stock high, it's pretty low. It's obviously not low enough though, so gotta clear up all that wheel gap right there. And then the front here sits a little bit higher. Not too bad. And then I got the lip on it as well, so... Jack yeah. My whole interior here is ripped apart. I only have access to my strut bar. Take all those bolts and you guys should be good. Shit. Yo, what's going on guys? It's currently the next day here. We had a hard time yesterday with the rears. In order to access the strut, it was this fucking bitch. So, uh, we just decided to not film that. And we are about to start in the front right now, but first we gotta get some coffee in our system because we're like slumped as fuck, we're tired as shit right now. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how the rear looks right now. It looks really fucking good. They haven't even settled in yet, so it's gonna be lower than this, but let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. Alright guys, excuse the car, it's super dirty. But um, yeah, that's literally the drop right there. Could fit about one finger if that. Alright guys, we'll pick it up once we get a Dutch, I guess. guys but i was like at this point we're just over it <laughs> we just want to get this done uh especially because we have a lot of shit planned out for today like we have a lot of stuff we haven't even done yet so watch the queue look dude show them yeah the queue look at how dirty the queue's got in this whole the whole process 
Yeah, we need to watch the Supra, the Q. We got a lot of shit to do, so. Photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. And guys, we're only four subscribers away from 300, so let's make that shit happen. On the road to 1,000. Sheesh. <laughs> good? Yeah. Oh. God damn. Yeah, it's currently nighttime as you guys can tell. It took us like maybe three hours to do the front. It wasn't as bad as the rear. The reason why I'm saying that is because the rears, as you guys saw, I had to take apart the whole interior, you know, take out the back seats, the axes, the fucking struts. So that's the reason why it took so long. But the fronts were cake. You guys can look here. This is super aggressive. If you guys don't have suspension yet on your cues, I definitely recommend getting art performance. Really, you know, inexpensive. Let me go ahead and show you guys how the car looks now. Brand new cool, mad black, brand new bit, her ass fat, 21 racks, black jack, spin a bag. Really aggressive here. This is not too low, honestly. I wish it was a little bit lower here in the front, but this would do for the front. It's not too low, but it's pretty aggressive here. The fitment's really good. Everyone's always asking me on Instagram, on my DMs, like, you know, is that stock fitment? Yes, these are stock wheels here, but I do have an inch all around. So inch spacer in the front, inch in the back as well. And then I'm also gonna link this lip down in the description if you guys wanna pick this up. This is a lip that I picked up here. Shout out to Cops uh, Garage here for painting this for me. I'm gonna link his Instagram down in the description. This is how it's sitting right now. Obviously, it still needs to settle in, but um, really aggressive drop there. Not too low. My exhaust does scrape on, you know, going in and out of my driveway here at the very bottom here because I have the clamps. The clamps are sitting really low there. Overall, not too bad, guys. This is a really nice uh, suspension here, and it rides just like sock. Like, the stiffness is really good, so I really recommend it to all of you guys watching this. I know this video was kind of short here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.